It was about a year and a half, almost two years of me shooting photos and no one in my life knew that I was doing it. I kind of felt like this is such a weird thing and no one's gonna understand it and I'm just gonna be like an outcast. This is the story of the unlikely photographer. The only photo class I've ever taken was in high school and it was like a two week long film black and white photography course. At the end of that, I handed in my camera and all of my film and all of my finished photos and I said, this was stupid, like I hated this and I'm never gonna need to know any of this and I'm never gonna be a photographer. I do distinctly remember Joel absolutely hating it. He was very creative at that time and uh, he couldn't let those creative ideas kind of appear where he wanted them to be. During that time in high school, I just started to focus on school and focus on what I was gonna do for a job and I just went right into working. But when you have a passion and you give that up, it starts to slowly kind of nag at you and you start to feel like there's something really important missing in my life. It wasn't until about five years later that I came across some photos and I bought a camera off of eBay and that was it. Three years later, one of the largest beverage companies in the world would stumble on one of his photos online, setting off a series of events which would eventually lead to the job offer of a lifetime. The job was to be the official photographer and the voice of social media for the 2013-14 uh, World Cup trophy tour. They called me on my lunch break and they just offered me the job and said, like, you can say yes or no right now. And <laughs> I just had no way to say no. It was nine months long. I traveled to 87 countries. It was a dream. After that job was finished, I, I really just set out to do what I wanted to do on my own. Before photography, I struggled with mental health. I just didn't really understand it. And even when I look back at a lot of those photos that maybe at the time I wasn't thinking that they were inspired by my mental health, I think I was using my photos as a way to tell people like I'm really hurting and I'm really going through something. It wasn't until I started to understand that photography was my meditation or my time by myself to understand myself that I saw the real power of using it as a voice. Essentially what's happening with the art making process is that you're making sense of the world, but you're doing this both consciously and unconsciously. Lots of times what you're feeling inside or what you're thinking about may not be easy to articulate in words or you may not even know or understand what it is. Um, and so when you're expressing it through art, a lot more feelings and thoughts and associations can come up. With an understanding of the impact he could have with his work, Robertson would have a decision to make. Dealing with uh, suicide, both in friends and in my family, it kind of hit a point of no return where I was like, now, it's now or never, where I'm either going to never want to talk about this or I'm going to be only focused on talking about this. And the more vocal I was being, the more conversation I was having with other people. And I realized if, if I'm comfortable talking about this, then I need to do more to make sure that that conversation is happening. There's been some images where I've created that people have, have written to me and just said like, that's how I feel and that's how I understand myself. And I didn't think that anyone else would understand until you posted that photo. Whenever I get a message like that, it kind of takes me back to like, okay, there's a purpose to everything that we do. I think Joel's career is, is a lesson and you, you just keep working towards whatever that next goal is, because then that's gonna lead you to the next goal. And then pretty soon you're living whatever your dream is. Now with more than half a million followers on social media, 
He's working toward his dream to one day end the stigma around mental illness. As the audience has grown, I've become more open and more personal because I think that it's a, an amazing opportunity that not everyone gets. And if that number is going up, then clearly it's doing something that people want to be a part of.